there is no situation that will not benefit you. In some many cases, there is there is more benefit the things what you're trying to avoid because the reason is they are more close to you. That's why it hurts. That's why you're running away. Growth comes when it touches you. Not when you not when you pretend. When it touches you, when you feel the pain, when you feel awake, then there's a growth, a possibility for growth. So when it's the things that you're trying to avoid in life, there are more chances for growth there. There are more chances to benefit from those circumstances than any other circumstances, for sure, no doubt. But it's the truth, but do you get it? Or do you feel that is what destroying you? Yes. For the little flame, it might destroy you. But the, if, you, if you're growing into the bigger flame, if you're upgrading yourself, it might benefit you. Benefit you from every situation, it benefits you. If you're trying to do a project, resources, it's, it's a resources. It's a way of building strength. We are expanding sense of self. We are, ex we are exploring new territory, new dimensions, new areas of life. It's not just that because that somebody has to explore new territory, new areas of life, but it is important to not get stuck in one area of life. That's the purpose. Uh, people say, oh, I don't need anything. Of course, that's great, you don't need anything. But it's it's idea of ex expanding, growing, developing. It doesn't ha doesn't has to be need of ego. It's, it's it could be a way of exp expanding sense of self. You don't need it, but you can grow it through it. That makes sense. You know, it's it's not like a. So this, this sense of uh, expansion, expression, growth, development, uh, boundlessness, manifestation, fruition, chapter of fruition, is saying, it's, it's saying not restrict, not contract, not limit. Grow. But you don't have to grow for yourself. You don't have to grow for your ego. You don't have to grow for your pain. You can grow for a uh, social service. You can grow for universe. You can grow for others. It's not the way many businesses work and corporations work. But that's the difference is the growth of enlightened growth in some sense. Your inner growth could equally walk together with your outer development. Let's, let's, let's think about a business. If somebody is running a business, your, the growth of business could be very much accompanied by the growth of in, in internal growth. As long as that the growth of business is based on the selflessness view. Because what does that mean? It's basically being aware of the resources and circumstances is putting them together and giving them giving a birth. That's all what it is. And letting it go. And that that somehow corresponds to inner growth. Because somehow in order to do that, you have to let go internally, you have to let go. Because not letting go will not it will not you're not able to do that. The, Letting part of yourself go represents the growth of outer conditions, outer businesses also. Or even in a relationship, families, you know. Healing even in the, that matter. The healing only happens like that. Even the happiness of somebody else, that's only how it's happy. You make somebody happy, your wife, your husband, your partner, your children, your friends, 
your colleagues, how they can be more happy when you give them more space. Space to be right. Space to do a mistake. Space to explore. A fearless place to explore things. And how, I, how you can give that. You need to feel that a little bit in order to give to somebody that. But if you don't feel it, you will keep controlling all the time. And when you keep controlling all the time, neither you benefit anything, nor, nor do the circumstances around you, they don't benefit anything. Neither as a business or anything you're trying to do in your life, there's no growth place. Any growth, it has to do with more full awareness of resources and circumstances. Even the losses could be resources. But somebody has to have eye. The loss could be also resources, not losses, just label lost and never fix idea of loss is lost. No. Somebody able to see loss is gain. Have to have new eyes to look at that, right?